There are not many games out there like Geist. For one, it is a first person shooter that tries to do things differently and not just release more levels with more bad guys to kill. And two, it is one of a very small handful of games published by Nintendo to receive a mature rating. You play as John Ramey, a biological weapons expert who is sent into a complex to investigate. During the escape, one of his comrades starts acting strangely and John is at the wrong end of a bullet. He wakes up in a machine, with his soul having been ripped from his body and this is where the game starts to show off its unique qualities. You must use your new powers to try to reunite with your body, stop an evil corporation and prevent an ancient evil demon from destroying the world. All in a day's work for a bioweapons expert. You play most of the game from the perspective of John's soul, and because of this, you are given some unique abilities. As a soul, you can move through the world much faster than normal humans. This brings in the concept of bullet time, as you hustle past enemies without them ever noticing you. Also coming with being just John's disembodied self is the ability to possess things, and this is the real hook of the game. When you possess an enemy, the game plays like a first person shooter, allowing you to take control of an enemy and use them to take out all of their squad mates. But you don't have to just possess human enemies. You can also take control of animals, each with their own abilities like using a dog to get past security or a moth to fly through the world. But it doesn't just stop there, as what you possess doesn't even have to be alive. You take control of explosives to trigger them and even more bizarre objects. All this makes for a shooter that can be played really any way you want. This makes up for the action because as a straight first person shooter, it is underwhelming with sluggish controls and even more sluggish AI. The game also has a multiplayer mode that is pretty fun and interesting as it incorporates the possession mechanics into the action. It never gets old taking control of your friends and having them watch as you end their life in the most horrific way possible. Man, that sounds morbid. The game does have its flaws and drawbacks, but there is more than enough fun and interesting aspects to keep you entertained throughout the game.